I moved to Marseille almost a year ago together with my family. And one day we just decided we we're selling our apartment, packing our bags and we left. We ended up here in Marseille and we love it here. It's a mix of everything and also by the Mediterranean. Today I will speak a little bit about my favorite decade, which is the 90s. For me, I really love how the 90s was a reaction to the perfect look in the 80s, which means that in the beginning of the 90s it was still big silhouettes, but the look was a little bit more unpolished, a little bit more casual, and that suits me really well. I was thinking we'd stop by some of my favorite areas here in Marseille, look at some lovely flowers and get a cup of coffee maybe. So here we are at one of my favorite flower markets. They are here on Tuesdays and Saturdays, and I love to come here and pick out some fresh flowers for my apartment. Today I'm wearing an oversized olive green blazer. I have paired it with a long denim skirt, dark, like raw denim. And then I like to style it with some loafers, so it's more like a casual look. I match my socks with loafers, like I have that as a little obsession. <laughs> Then I've added a bell, which is also one of my favorite go-to styling pieces, together with a brown leather bag. When it comes to my inspiration from the 90s, there are many muses to choose from, and one of my favorites would be Meg Ryan. What I like about Meg Ryan is her vests. I really enjoy wearing a vest. I'm wearing a vest today as well. <laughs> and also how her hair is like perfectly messy. Another one I really tend to find a lot of inspiration is Carolyn Bessett Kennedy. I mean, she's obvious, she's an icon, and that's probably more my minimalistic side, who's fascinated by her style. I would say particularly her shoes and bags. I love them. <laughs> so here we are at one of my favorite coffee shops. It's where I love to pick up a coffee and something sweet. I've been influenced or inspired by mixing both women and men's wear for a very long time and when I studied fashion a few years back many of my projects and also my graduation projects ended up being more or less genderless. I feel like when I look at the 90s it's so many cool looks to choose from and I'm especially inspired from the dad look. I love Hugh Grant in all the romantic comedies I love how when you pair it with the right things, it can still look good and not too boring, so to say. For this look, I'm wearing a brown leather jacket, an oversized, almost dad-inspired leather jacket. I found it in a thrift store here in Marseille. I've paired it together with a brown vest. I'm really into vests, both like clothes like this, but also with buttons. And then I'm wearing my vintage Levi's beige trousers in a loose fit. I styled the look with some sandals I bought many years ago in a thrift store in Stockholm. And then with a belt with metallic uh, buckle, <laughs> a little bit bigger. And then I've added one of my favorite silver earrings from a Norwegian designer. I think they really add something more modern to the look, so it's not totally... <laughs> dad <laughs> look going on we're now on our way to another cafe walking up the street which is so beautiful here in Marseille for this look usually I would maybe wear just a white t-shirt but now I'm going out for a glass of wine so I thought it would be nice to have a little more dressed look I have paired it with this full-length flared denim Levi's vintage denim I used to wear cropped denims for many years, and I still do. I love a cropped denim. Well, maybe a year ago I started to experiment with both full length and also flared denims, and I, I really like how the look becomes slightly more casual. I've added a, a minimalist belt together with a small bag, just to make it a little bit more ready to go out and not like the big uh, chunky bags I usually wear. So now we're at Park Longchamp. I usually go here with my family, my little son. 
It's a beautiful park located in the center of Marseille. This is look number four. I am wearing one of my favorite staples, the vest. I love wearing this the whole year around. For high summer, I would pair it with a short. And for spring, I would have trousers like this. I think it's so versatile. For this look, I'm very inspired by Meg Ryan and her style of the romantic comedies in the mid-90s. I really love the messy hair together with a more suited look or a, a more sharp vest like this one. Today I wear a trouser together with my pointy heels that elongates the look and then I paired it with a small leather bag and my sunglasses just to make the look a little bit more well-dressed so it's not all over the place <laughs> as my hair is. Vintage and thrifting is something that I really, really like, looking for that special piece. For this look, I'm wearing yet again a blazer. <laughs> I have a matching vest and then I've added a simple slip dress. It is a 90s inspired video, so the slip dress is somehow a must have. I kind of like that the feminine slip dress is sort of a little bit of a contrast to the vest and sharp blazer. One thing that I really like with my blazers and that I really think about when I'm thrifting is that I prefer blazers to have a little bit of shoulder pads to make my look more sharp. I'm not afraid to have a little bit of a wider shoulder or a wider look. I think that somehow enhances the look in a, in a good way. I hope you enjoyed this video and hope to see you soon again. <laughs>